Welcome Hybrian friends. It's Monday the 25th of January. Happy Robert Burns Day. Yesterday evening at High Tech, our youth group, Ruth, one of our leaders, told the story of Mr. Worry, who worried about everything. He worried about Mr. Bump falling and bumping himself. He worried about Mr. Greedy eating too much food and getting sick. His worries were endless. One day he met a wizard who told him, go home and write out a lo your long list of worries and bring them back to me. And I promise you that I will make sure that none of your worries ever happen. So Mr. Worry went home and he got busy making his list and was exhausted by the time he finished and slept quite soundly. He took his list of worries to the wizard and the wizard read through the long, long list. And he promised, Mr. Worry, none of your worries will ever happen. Well, Mr. Worry was happy because for the first time in his life, he wasn't worrying about anything. He slept soundly, he enjoyed, he even started to whistle and sing. But then after a few days, he woke up and suddenly he was overwhelmed with worry again. Can you guess why he was worried? He didn't have anything to worry about. Well, on this uh, Robert Burns Day, I want to, to read a poem to you uh, called To a Mouse. When I was minister in Cumnock Congregational Church, I used to pass through a town called Mauchlin. Um, and if you were traveling towards Kilmarnock, you went, uh, you passed the Burns Monument uh, and on your left, there was a field. And I was told that that is the field that Robert Burns was plowing when he disturbed and destroyed a mouse's nest. And his brother um, said that Robert wrote the lines to this poem while his hand was still in the plow. Well, who will ever know? But Robert was wrestling with the fact that he destroyed this mouse's home and thinking about the complexity of life for human beings. So if you'll forgive me, Scottish friends, for my Canadian attempt at a Scots accent. So I'm going to only read the last two stanzas. But Mousie, thou art no thy lane. Improving foresight may be vain. The best laid schemes of mice and men gang after glay. And lay us not but grief and pain for promised joy. Still, thou art blessed compared with me. The present only toucheth thee. But och, I backward cast my ee on prospects drear, and forward, though I canna see, I guess and fear. So, he's basically saying to the mouse, you're not alone in proving that planning too far ahead is, is in vain. The, the best laid plans of mice and men, they often go awry and leave us nothing but grief and pain instead of promised joy. And yet, little mouse, you're blessed compared with me because you live in the present. But I look back at all the things that could have been and I look forward to the things I can't see and I guess and I fear the future. That's roughly it anyway. So on this day, as we begin this week, perhaps you're a worrier like me. Let's hear Jesus' words from Matthew chapter 6, verse 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Let's pray. Lord, help us to live in the present, to trust you with this day. 
we write our list of worries and we give them over to you, trusting that you are big enough to hold all that concerns us, all the situations that keep us awake at night, that trouble our minds and hearts. Jesus, come to us and calm us. Spirit of God, give us grace to trust our Father completely and in everything to seek first your kingdom. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Have a wonderful day, everyone, um, and, and enjoy Robert Burns' day. Perhaps you'll have uh, neeps, tatties, and um, a little bit of haggis tonight. What do you say?